Hey everybody, the Bond Guy's back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Let's pick up the Declaration of Independence and travel to Philadelphia 1776. Blank was born in Virginia in 1743. When you think of Philadelphia 1776, first thing that comes to mind is Thomas Jefferson. After studying law, he became a leader in the, Vir in the Virginia House of... Uh, House of... No, not House of Independence. Um... Not the Stonecutters. Oh god, what is it then? Oh, I forget the word. House of Government? No. House of Burgesses. Or Burgesses. In his famous paper, A Summary View of the Rights of Blank America, British America, he insisted that colonial ties with England were... crooked? No. Voluntary. What he lacked is a public speaker, I believe. Alright, so it's been a while since I played this game. I don't know all history, you know. I mean, I'm smart, but I'm not that smart. I certainly made up for by his powerful writing. Which is kind of like me. What I lack as a public speaker, I make up for an awesome gameplay. For this reason, Jefferson was chosen to write the Declaration of Independence. Which is the artifact I have right now. The document that gave birth to the United States on July 4th, 1776. Known as Independence Day, of course. Heartbroken over the untimely passing of his young wife Martha in 1782, Jefferson never married again. In his political career, he served as the governor of Virginia, the first secretary of state, the second vice president, and the third president of the United States. Some people just got politics in their veins, I can tell you that much. Retiring to the home he had designed, his beloved Monticello, I believe, he later became a founder of the Reg University of Virginia, a scientist, uh, actor, no, a composer, farmer, I believe, architect, and statesman. Jefferson's personal library became the nucleus of the Uni U.S. Library of Congress. Well, guess we're gonna go to Philadelphia in 1776, which I'm pretty sure is when most of the Philadelphia Phillies have been born. I feel so bad for that. Anyways... Let's go. In America. Alright, that's two. Ah, oh, missed that one. Of course I was gonna miss, it was invisible! Three. Four. Five. Six. I don't want to run into an invisible mine at this point. Or any point. Eight. Oh, good thing I didn't get that one. Nine. And. Oh, missed that one. Ten. There, now we can get out. To Philly, my friends! In West Philadelphia, I was born, raised, and whatever. Hi, what's going on here? What's going on? We're at war. We've had it up to here with the British and their taxes. Why should we be run by a parliament across the Atlantic? Where's your war with? King George, George III of Great Britain. The British have ruled the American colonies since the founding of Jamestown in 1607. But now we want our independence. How long have you been at war? Since a shot heard around the world. Uh, Paul Anderson? Was fired at the battles of Lexington and Concord on April 19, 1775. More than a year ago. Wow, what caused all this? Taxation and tyranny. If you want to know more, take this coffee copy of Thomas Jefferson's pamphlet. Some review of the rights of British America. It's all in there. Who are those men in Independence Hall? That's the Continental Congress, representatives of the colonies. How 13 individual colonies can stand up against a power like Britain, I don't know. Have you seen today's paper? Uh, I guess we'll ask about that later. Let's go to the stable. I'd like to return this piece of paper. 
probably belongs to someone in Independence Hall. They're always writing up documents. I bet it belongs to that red-headed fellow from Virginia. A heck of a writer, but not much of a public speaker. What's his name? Tom something. He wrote that summary view of the rights of British America. I bet I can remember his name if I had a copy of that pamphlet, which I have right here. Well, let's see. Yep, it says right here. A summary view of the rights of British America by T.H. Jefferson. T.H. is short for Thomas. What's it say? It seems to say that American colonial ties with Great Britain were voluntary. Pretty revolutionary. But then, I heard Mr. Jefferson say a little rebellion now and again is a good thing. What else can you tell me about Thomas Jefferson? He built an interesting house over in Virginia. Monticello, I believe they call it. He loves to farm, they say. And also here is on a committee doing some writing for the Congress. Who else is on the committee? If they're smart, I bet a, a writer like Jefferson work alone. But John Adams and Ben Franklin are on the committee. Speaking of Ben, he left his glasses here again. Can you take them to him? Um, yeah, I guess I can just look for him. Say, what's going on at Independence Hall? Where are your ears, young man? Have you heard nothing? We're breaking away from Great Britain. I have to get over to the hall myself. Wait, I don't, don't I know you? My name's Mario. I don't believe I've heard the pleasure, Mario. I'm Ben Franklin, publisher, scientist, occasional inventor. Please have one of my newspapers. You'll find it worthwhile reading. <coughs> ben Franklin, you're a founding father. I am? Actually, I'm a Pennsylvania representative to the Continental Congress. I need to get over to Independence Hall right away to sign the Declaration. Can you tell me about the Declaration? I'd be most happy to you, to you too, my dear friend, but I need to find my glasses. I don't mean to brag, but I invented bifocals, you know. Oh, here you go. Uh, bifocal glasses! Thank you, Mr. Mario. I never signed anything before reading it, you know, even when it is written by someone with the intellectual powers of Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson? Did he write the Constitution? No, no, no. He's writing the Declaration of Independence. We don't even have a Constitution yet. I have a funny feeling people are going to mix these two up one day. Why is Jefferson writing the Declaration? He's got a way with words. He should have read his Statute of Virginia for Religious Freedom. Truly inspired. He wrote that as a lawmaker in the Virginia House of Burgesses. What else can you tell me about Jefferson? Oh, his son interests covered just about everything. Science, farming, architecture. I believe he'd be a fine leader of our country when he's, oh, I don't know, maybe 57 or 58 years old? Gosh, I wonder if he don't know what this is. Good heavens, sir. Do you realize that you hold the Declaration of Independence? I beg you, take it to Jefferson's so we may pledge our lives, fortunes, and sacred honor to our new country. Well, yeah, might as well do that. Now I just gotta find this newspaper and bring it over to the end, I guess. Today's Gazette. Let's see what it has to say. Gentlemen, today's the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, I warrant you, people shall remember this date for years to come. What is today's date? Why, well, it's July 4th, 1776. But they took the final vote on July 2nd. They are only signing the document today. Hmm, I wonder which day we'll wind up celebrating. That is, if we win. If you win, could you lose? Could we lose? Listen to him, boys. He doesn't think we can lose. Look here, my little man. Britain has the largest navy and the best army in the entire world. Oh, times have changed. We're just a bunch of farmers. What else have you got, then? We're fighting for our own land. We know the terrain and how to use it to our advantage. The British troops fight in formation. We won't make that mistake. Then, of course, there's Washington. Washington? He sounds familiar. We should. George Washington is the commander-in-chief of the Continental Forces. That's our army. He beat the British at Boston, but now he's fighting for New York City. Sounds like Washington may be indispensable. True, but the Continental Congress keeps interfering with him and not giving him enough help. Even if things go our way, this war could drag on for seven more years. Gee, and I was worried about this document. When in the course of human events... Why, this is the Declaration of Independence! You have to get this over to Independence Hall right away! Our country depends on it. Which is over here, I guess. Say, what are you guys doing in here? Please, not now, sir. We're about to sign a very important document, but we seem to have misplaced it. You guys need a Declaration of Independence? Oh, thank goodness, gentlemen. This diminutive plumber has found our declaration. Now he can sign. You first, Mr. Hancock. How's it coming, Tom? Very well, Mario, my good friend. With your help, we have created a great new country. Perhaps one day, your likeness will appear carved into a mountain. 
yeah. What kind of mountain, I believe? Yeah, it's not like Thomas Roosevelt did anything special. Yeah, I think Mario would do just fine on Mount Rushmore. If he was created by an American and not a Japanese person. Okay, we got all the artifacts. Let's go to the second floor. Where we can find five more artifacts. Going to five more pieces of history. And I think we'll take care of that in the next part, because I'm out of time. Alright, see you later.